Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to collect a few things, and then we're going to continue to try to save the world. I'm going to go ahead and kill these little tech tykes because they're going to be a pain in the ass if we don't. Alright, so now you're going to blast this little wall here. And then you're going to kill a Skultola. Look, he's so high up. How are we going to get there? Oh, don't worry. The wall, that's climbable. All right, pick that up, and then we're going to head up the mountain. And my fairy wants to talk to me, but she can wait. She's not important. Actually, she becomes really important later, but I, I feel really bad, too, because she kind of saves your skin a little bit. Not really, but she's, a, she's quite a fighter, and you feel bad for hating her the whole time. Well, we're going to head up here. You can blow up the boulders if you want. I think I will, just because I'm pretty sure there's some stuff hidden there. Whoops, that's the wrong button. There's some rupees there. This one's a little tougher. You gotta wait till it's about to blow up. And that didn't work. What the hell? I was right on the money, too. There we go. Oh, there's a red one. Go in here. And you can blow that one up. That's just, uh, there's a cow in there. And you can play Epona's song, and he'll fill up one of your bottles with milk, but you don't really need to. Now, this part gets a little tricky. Well, not really tricky. It's kind of scary, though. You got large rocks falling on top of you. But we have our Hylian shield, and we go into turtle mode, and they can't touch us. Well, as soon as all the rocks stop falling, haul ass and keep going. And I took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. should be able to make it before the next wave of rocks falls. Nope. Well, I didn't take any damage. That's good. Alright, now once we're here, they won't attack us anymore. So, there's three Skull Waltulas. You can only see two of them at first. But climb up, and then climb over, and you'll be able to see the last one. Alright, we're going to go ahead and kill him. And then you climb all the way up. You can go collect what he has if you want. There's not really any need to. Alright, then we're going to head over here. We're not really supposed to be here at first, but it's okay because what we're going to do is going to help us and it saves a little bit of time later. We can't stay here very long because it's a volcano and it's really hot and we're going to die if we take too long. So we're going to go in here, roll into this little crate. I'm not going to get it. Roll into the little crate, slash the Skulltola, take his token, and then run straight for this little area right here. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, right there. Fall into this little pit. And I don't think we'll make make it the whole way. All the way back. But we've got full health. I'm going to try to see if I can make it. If not, uh, it'll just transport us back to the beginning. We're going to be down like a heart, but it's not that big of a deal. We might actually make it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's bleeping at me. Oh, no. Run, Link, run. Run backwards. Run backwards. That's not going to work. Well, we're going to burn on fire. Oh, well. But don't worry, we're not dead. It's just going to... Oh, well. It is going to revive us. Good thing we had that ha handy. I think it actually will kill you if you take too long. So you probably better not do that. Go around this little owl. You don't want to talk to him yet. This is the one of the few times you actually do want to talk to him, though. Because he will do something kind of cool for you. Blow up the wall. And then whip out your little ocarina. And... Whoops. That's a slingshot. And you're going to step on this little plate, and if you can see, it's the Triforce, so play the Lullaby. These things are really creepy. They kind of remind me of Moaning Myrtle off the Harry Potter series. You know, they sit in a little fountain slash toilet thing, and they come up and shriek at you. Sounds familiar. Anyways, this is the Great Fairy of Power. She's going to give you a magic meter. 
which we only have one, uh, you know, magic power, which is our, you know, our spin attack, which is what we're fixing to get. That's the only thing we've got. However, later we will be getting a lot more. Now we have the spin attack, like I said. In order to do that, you can uh, rotate the control stick around in a circle and then press B, or you can hold B for a little bit and do it. it they both do the same thing. The quick attack doesn't take any magic, though. She talks about having a relative in the castle, or a friend, I guess. They all should be related. They all look the same. They're not any different at all. They are creepy looking, though. I will tell you that. Alright, she'll fill up your health and your magic, which you now have. And then head out here and talk to the owl. And then stand right underneath him, and he's going to take you for a ride. Enjoy the scenery while you're up there. And you can do this as many times as you want in the game. There's no limit, so if you happen to mess this part up, don't worry. You can do it again. And if you just don't want to do it this way, there's another way you can do it. You have to wait till you get the hook shot, and you have to be an adult. Alright, from right here, you want to go to this little edge. Make sure you don't fall off. Well, you, you want to fall off, but don't jump off and then enter this little hole. And then collect the heart. Now we've got three. We need one more and we get another heart container. And we'll go in here and we've got more than 20 Skulltolas by now, I believe. Let's check. No, we don't. We are missing one. Where is he? Ah, oh, I forgot something. We have to go to the Goron village. Well, we'll do that real fast. I missed something, but that's okay. Um, what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to get a bunch of money. So, uh, in order for it not to be a waste, make sure you have less than 99 rupees because you're about to pick up 100. I completely forgot about that. I don't know why I missed it. It's all good. I took notes, but uh, obviously I missed part of part of my notes, so that's all right. It happens. While I'm here, I need bugs. Should be bugs around here somewhere. Oh, th this is also where that Skeletola is too. Forgot to get this guy. I can't believe I forgot him. That's horrible. What? No bugs. What are you talking about? Oh, I know where we gotta go get bugs. Sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained on this one. I completely missed part of my walkthrough. I did it in backwards order a little bit, but that's alright. We can still make it work. Alright, you wanna go to the Kakariko graveyard? Because you need a bottle of bugs. And actually, I'm going to grab two bottles of bugs. So, because you're going to need bugs later, too. So. Hey, look, I'm on top of your house. What are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing, because I'm the hero of Hyrule. I do what I want. Okay. So, we're going to go to the graveyard. Run past this uh, jogging guy. These carpenters have absolutely nothing to do except for run around all day. Wish I was that cool. Oh, we have magic now. So that's a magic jar, in case you were wondering. Alright, so scoop up the bugs. Twice. Maybe. Come on. Come here, bug. There you go. Alright, now we're going to go back to the entrance to the Dongo's Cavern, which I missed earlier.
Sorry if this is a little inconvenient for you guys, but uh, hopefully you're not playing and watching the videos at the same time, or else you'd be really lost. But if you are, um, you can just get a little bit more game experience. Not a big deal. Oh, something cool if you want to try if you're completely bored. Uh, go to places like the ranch or Kakariko Village and attack a chicken. And then all of them will go batshit crazy and try to kill you. And they will succeed unless you go inside or leave the area. So don't stick around for too long. But it's a nice little game to play with your friends. You know, you see who can last the longest. But, uh, you know, it's not really advisable. Alright, get to this little land plot and then drop one of your sets of bugs. And then step back a little bit. Just hopefully they'll burrow in there. They, yeah, they will. Come on. Come on. There you are. Okay. Now we have 20 skull tolas. But now we're going to go get number 21. Hopefully I can get this video under 15 minutes now with all the running around. But uh, we should be able to. If not, there's a thing called video editing, and I could just cut something out. Alright, there's two things we need to do here. There should be... Oh, this guy. We need bombs. And if you need more bombs, just go to the shop at the bottom. But what you want to do is you want to hit this guy with a bomb. You know, it sounds mean, but, you know, here's what I usually do. I usually just leave a couple bombs. Once you hear that little chime, walk up to him and he'll give you a bigger bomb bag. He says he'll give you and praise you your courage. And now we have a bomb upgrade. Alright, so now we've got full bombs. But we are going to go down here and visit the shop, which is over here. Let's see. Let's see, what can we buy? We don't need bombs because we're already carrying the most. I'm going to buy a recovery heart and buy a red potion. And since I want to make... Well, we don't really have to worry about it. Well, hopefully you don't have as many rupees as I do or else you'll feel like this is a waste, but it's okay. Um, we're fixing to pick up a 200 rupee piece, or 100 rupee piece. I'm going to go ahead and switch my uh, potion off the wall, or off the uh, C button. Alright. You want to head up to the third floor. I am lost. Holy cow. Over here, you can see a place where you can bomb boulders. That's not where we need to go, though. Is it? Yeah, it is. I'll tell you, I'm lost on this. Hopefully, I can do this in less than a minute. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Alright, so you want to do this quickly. Blow up this one. Then blow up this one. I'm going to blow this one up, too, just because. Alright, go through here. Blow up this one. Oh, this is close. And then, oop, blow up this one. You can't do anything else with the others, so it's not really worth wasting your bombs. But you go over here in the chest, and one of those chests is a 100 rupee piece, and the other one is a Skulltola. Alright, I'm going to cut the video off now because I'm at 14 minutes and 42 seconds, so I will see you later.